right, Geminis, welcome to your August 1st through the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. I'm sorry it took me so long to do it. I just got like wore out um, after I did all of mine yesterday. So we're going to do it now. Thank you so much for joining me. I did want to let you know that I am having a sale on my private readings. They're $20 for 40 minutes. And also, I'm going to be do, doing something completely new. Um, I'm going to be doing Gemini couples, Gemini singles, and Gemini career. So I'm going to do three individual extra bonus readings for August. And if you want to purchase those, they're pay-per-view. They're $4.99 a piece. Um, if you're interested in that, shoot me an email at enchantedmirrortarot at gmail.com. Uh, so let's get started with your reading. We're going to be using the Vintage Oracle. What is the central theme of Gemini's reading? What is the central theme of Gemini's reading? Love. Isn't that beautiful? Love is the central theme of your reading today. Great. Right. So what we're doing is a Romney spread. And we begin by checking out your internal world. And we're going to be using the tarot in wonderland I actually etched it in gold um, I think it's really pretty it's a brand new deck if you like it in the description box below I actually have a link to where you can purchase it is there these cards are just uh, they're amazing I recommend it to anybody uh, so I need three cards for Gemini's internal world what's going on in Gemini's head three cards for Gemini's head okay the first one we have some sleepless nights we have the Nine of Swords, there's sleepless nights, there's anxiety, there's depression. Um, mind spiraling in never-ending circles. Two more cards for what's going on in Gemini's mind. Right, and then I have the Lovers. It could be of a relationship that your mind is spiraling. This is a major life event. Uh, this is your card. This is the card of a Gemini. Um, so this could be <clears throat> like, um, it's just any relationship. Uh, it doesn't even have to be a love relationship. It could even be a family relationship. It could be a work relationship, just any relationship in general. It's just something that's very significant to you and your mind spiraling. Right, one more card. Right, and then we have the page of swords and he was in the reverse. So the Page of Swords, this is malicious gossip. This is someone who's very spiteful, vindictive, someone who's rude, someone who could possibly be spying on you. This is argument, slander, backstabbing, um, nothing to say. This is psychological abuse. So there's somebody in your external world, world that's psychologically abusing you. And you are coming up really strong in this. All of these are your cards. This is all in your energy. This is in that air energy. Right, let's check out your external world. Um, so what's going on in Gemini's family and home life? Gemini's family and home life, please. Three cards for Gemini's family and home life. Three cards for Gemini's family and home life. So the first one that I have is the Two of Wands in the reverse. So this is the fear of the unknown. There's a lack of planning. Um, this is Aries energy. What else is going on in Gemini's family and home life? I have the King of Wands. You're balancing things. See how he's balancing the snake on his nose? So snakes to me are treachery. So you're balancing something that's very treacherous something that you don't want to balance but the king of wands is like a natural born leader he's an entrepreneur he's powerful he's dynamic uh, he's dependable he thinks big he takes control of his life he's Sagittarius energy and Gemini and Sagittarius are polar opposites on the astrological wheel um, you have Sagittarius here and then you have Gemini here and they're just they pull traits from each other because they're complete polar opposites of each other um, just like uh, Pisces and Virgo I, I'm Pisces and I pull traits from Virgo and Virgo pulls traits from Pisces 
And that's why a Sagittarius and a Gemini are usually like really good friends because they're polar opposites of each other and they pull traits from each other. So this could also be just referring to you because it's a sat the card of Sagittarius and it's just the polar opposite of you. Or it could be referring to a Sagittarius. All right, one more card for Gemini's family and home life, please. One more card for Gemini's family and home life. Okay, I have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, so when the Eight of Pentacles reverses, this is freedom, a way out, self-acceptance. In, in the upright, um, this is a strong, solid commitment. In the reverse, there's a lack of ambition. There's perfectionism. And actually, it's the card of Virgo, which is the polar opposite of me. So now we're going to take my little deck, and we're going to clarify all of these cards. So why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? One card for why the Nine of Swords is here, please. All right, because of the Queen of Flamingos. So the Nine of Swords is here because of the Queen of Flamingos in reverse. Um, so the person who's causing your mind to spiral, all of this anxiety, it's someone who's a fashion victim, someone who's highly manipulative, someone who's very moody, um, someone who's overly emotional. This could be a, 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 a cancer person. Um, it can also be somebody who um, is hypocritical, who has OCD, someone who is bitter, vindictive, cruel, someone who plays a lot of mind games. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Right, because of the seven of hats in reverse. So the seven of hats in reverse is temptation, illusion. This is the card of Scorpio. And Scorpio is um, uh, very passionate, intense emotional, um, secretive. Scorpio rules the sex organs. So the lovers, to me, that would be a sexual lover, um, a sexual partner, especially with it being clarified with the um, Seven of Hats. Right, why is the Page of Swords here? Okay, and we have the Four of Flamingos in the reverse. So when the Four of Flamingos reverses, this is just feeling restless, burnout. There's a lack of progress here. And this is with a Libra. Or it's just that Libra energy. Somebody, um, it would be the negative aspect of Libra because there's a positive and negative to every sign so this is the negative aspect of Libra someone who likes to just go off without telling anybody for long periods of time and thinks that's perfectly fine um, someone who uh, who is a secretive a perfectionist all right, now in fa your family and home life, we had the Two of Wands starting that out. So why is the Two of Wands here? Okay, because of the two, so we have two twos. And what do twos mean? Twos are about balance, they're about choices. So there's some sort of choice here. And we have the Two of Oysters. And it's in the upright. And the Two of Oysters are decisions about finances, decisions about two people. Um, juggling, weighing pros and cons, and uh, that's Capricorn energy. All right, and then we have the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? And the King of Wands is here because of the Seven of Flamingos in the reverse. So the Seven of Flamingos in the reverse are challenges and breaking habits. So this is some sort of bad habit that you're breaking. 
And why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here? Right, because of the three of wasters in the reverse. Um, so there's a lack of teamwork, a disregard for skills. Sorry, I forgot to I was I forgot to do that in the beginning. So what's going on with Gemini's money? What's going on with Gemini's money? Three cards for Gemini's money. Right, so we have the King of Cups in the reverse. So when the King of Cups reverses, um, this is somebody who's overly emotional, uh, someone who's depressed. Um, this is also the card of narcissistic personality disorder and addictions. So in terms of your money, um, I need more cards before I can talk about that. What else is going on with Gemini's money? I need two more cards. And then I have temperance, and temperance balances things. Um, temperance is the calm after the storm, rebalancing. So it looks like in the past, because this is landing in what I always see as the past position. Um, in the past, there was, it could have been like somebody who was very narcissistic, who was an emotional manipulator, who caused you to lose money. But now we have the calm after the storm. We have a time of rebalancing, a time of um, the light at the end of the tunnel, tunnel, a time of tranquility, healing. So your finances are healing here. What else is going on with Gemini's money? What else is going on with Gemini's money? And uh, remember, I do have a, my moon is in Gemini, so I am also a Gemini. All right, we have justice in the reverse. There could have been a leap. Oh, my God. Whoa, that just, like, totally resonated with me, like, really bad. Oh, yeah, because uh, I uh, dated a sociopath that was a Libra, and uh, he, he took a lot of money from me. Um, that, yeah, that resonated really. So we have Justice in the Reverse, which is the card of Libra. And this could be a divorce, lawsuits, inequality. Things are just going against you. You feel victimized, blaming others, uh, crooked, corruption. And to everyone watching my live, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I just kind of wanted to get into the reading, so I'm not really paying attention to tech chat. I'll do that at the end. All right, so the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? All right. So the King of Cups is here because of the Emperor, and Temperance came out as well. We'll get into that next. So the Emperor in reverse. So this is definitely confirming narcissism. Because the Emperor in Reverse is also a card of Narcissism. Uh, the cards of Narcissism are the King of Cups in the Reverse, the Knight of Cups in Reverse, the Emperor in Reverse, and also um, I always see it as the King of Wands in the Reverse. So we're definitely talking about someone who has Narcissistic Personality Disorder here, especially with the Emperor in Reverse. So this is someone who has anger issues, someone who's irresponsible, someone who's impatient, um, someone who's selfish, greedy, um, someone who is a criminal, they could be a criminal, a hard task manager. All right. And then um, temperance is clarified by the, the eight of flamingos in the upright. So this is about um, frustration, a bad attitude, being paralyzed by fear, not seeing a way out even though it's there. You're in your own self-enclosed prison. She can get out. She's just She just doesn't know that she can. Um, she's ignoring a device of all the flamingos. She can actually escape all those flamingos, but she doesn't. She doesn't realize that she can escape those flamingos. She doesn't see a way out. And why is justice here? Why is justice here? 
All right, Justice is here because of the Night of Oysters. Um, so the Night of Oysters, he comes in slow. He's a very slow moving energy. He moves very, very, very slow. Um, however, he is stability. He, he's a time to put plans into action. He builds an empire. He doesn't take foolish risks. Beware, though, because don't work yourself to the bone. He has a tendency to overwork. He's a workaholic, and he doesn't like to get rest. Um, he breathes life into plans. He makes things happen. He's highly ambitious. So it ends on a really good note with your money. But it, it looks like we're recovering from what happened in the past. But we have a really good future. It's just coming slow. Just keep doing what you're doing. It's just coming slow and it's building. All right. Um, so three advice cards for Gemini. Let me come out. All right. So we have the moon in reverse. Right, two more. All right. And then we have the world in the upright. And one more with advice. That's two major, okay, and then we have the chariot. Three major arcana cards for advice. So major arcana, arcana means secrets in Latin. So these are the major life secrets. They always take precedence over the minor arcana, which are minor day-to-day -day life events. These are the major secrets. So the first one we have is the moon in reverse. And this can either be a Pisces or this can be a Cancer. And we have the walrus and the carpenter, and they're walking on the beach with all of these little oysters. And all the little oysters are like, ooh, they love us, and they're going to teach us, and, you know, we're safe with them. But no, no, they're manipulating these little oysters, and they're going to eat them. Um, the moon is all about nightmares. It's all about secrets, the subconscious, imagination running wild. Um buried memories, addictions. All right, and then we have the world, and the world ends the major arcana. So think of like a kindergarten kid that just went to school, and then they become a senior, and they graduate. This is the graduation. They went through school. They came full circle. They've learned all of the lessons, and they've obtained perfection. Alice fell down the rabbit hole in the pool when she was the new soul that wanted to start this journey, and now she's the queen. She mastered the chess game. She's lasting success. This is a ceremony. This is good health. This is coming full circle. Right, and then we have the chariot. So we could be talking about somebody with um, cancer. My... My narcissist was a Libra sun and a Cancer moon. So this is, like, yeah, so it's like really throwing that out there. But it, take it however it resonates with you. I'm just taking it how it resonates because it's totally resonating with me. All right, so we have the chariot. And the chariot is the card of Cancer. This is gaining control of our opposing forces, controlling your emotions. Um, Appearances can be deceiving with this card. Um, there could be people hiding behind a mask, so you're not seeing. Again, we have the secret, this illusion. Um, people hiding things from you. So be aware of that. There, there's definitely some like secrets and illusions and uh, things going on behind the surface that you just don't readily see, and that's the advice. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? I hate when they fall on the floor. And he's here because of the king of hats in the reverse. So remember I said that there's only a few cards in the 78 cards of the tarot deck that can refer to narcissism. This is one of them. This is traditionally the king of cups, but this is the king of hats in this little deck. Uh, so this is narcissistic personality disorder. This is an emotional manipulator. If he comes in the upright, he's completely different, but he came in the reverse. So out of 78 cards with reversals, uprights and reversals, 
there's only um, four cards that can point to narcissistic personality disorder, and this is one of the four. And we got it before, so this is really just like overemphasizing that. That's what we're talking about. All right, why is the world here? All right, the world is here because of the page of Peppermills in the reverse. So the page of Peppermills in the reverse makes excuses. He is never ready for anything. He fears change. He has a lack of ambition. He um, is reckless, foolish. Um, he's just, he's an unsavory fellow. <laughs> he's very athletic, very athletic. All right, why is the chariot here? Okay, because of the Knight of Hats, but, in, but this is in the upright. So this is the knight in shining armor. This is gallant. This is offers. This is gut feelings. This is using your intuition. This is the fairy tale. This is the charmer, the ladies man. Um, someone who makes moves. This is the card of Scorpio. We had Scorpio um, shown before, so we might be dealing with a Scorpio here, or just that energy of someone who is very passionate and intense, um, someone who's almost hypnotic. Uh, so this is developing your psychic abil abilities. There's a lot of emotional energy here in your advice column. Um, there's some, I see some repressed emotions that need to be, and it looks like it was in the past. Whoever that, because this, because the narcissist keeps coming up in the past. It came up in the past in your money. It came up in the past with what's going on internally with these sleepless nights and this mind spiraling. And it's now coming up in the past in, it, 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 and you're in your this like it, we got this is the advice you're in your own self enclosed prism so, so you're doing this to yourself because you keep going back inside of your mind and seeing this person this emotional manipulator but it's not happening presently. And I don't see it happening in the future either. This is inside of your mind. All right, so what's going on with Gemini's social and romantic life? What's going on with Gemini's social and romantic life, please? Three cards for Gemini's social and romantic life, please. Oh, three exactly, perfect. All right, so we'll start with the beginning and we'll get to the ending. because. That's the best way to do it. Right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is hard work paying off. This is, um, you could be saving up to get married. If you are in a relationship, it's going really good. Right, and then we have the five, of the five of Swords. And I always see her as, oh, with your head. <laughs> you know, um, so the five of swords is conflict, tension, betrayal, win at all costs. There's some smugness here. There could be physical attacks, um, a no win situation. It could be with an Aquarius. We'll clarify that and see why it's here. And then we have the nine of wands in the reverse. So this is not sweating the small stuff, getting perspective, not letting things, you know, really get to you. But I do see conflict here um, because we have the seven of pentacles where everything's going good. And then we have the five of swords where they're really not. <laughs> um, so the seven of pentacles, that's earth energy and earth likes things to be stable. Earth doesn't like to move around. The, um, 
five of swords would be air energy. And air energy, you can't contain it. It flows. It's constantly moving. It is the winds of change. You're a Gemini. You're air energy. So you would be personified by the five of swords. That actually um, is Aquarius energy, but Aquarius is also an air sign like you. So there's definitely some elemental conflict here between the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? All right, and it is because of an Aquarius, because I have the star, and the star is the card of Aquarius. It is a major arcana card. Uh, this is relief from struggle. It's a time to heal. It's freedom. There's nothing to hide. You're free to be yourself. This is me. This is who I am. And that's what you're telling people. And you feel connected. You feel like this um, spiritual connection. I dropped two coins. And I have two more cards to clarify, so I'm assuming that these, yeah, the intuitively, they, I feel like these are the ones I'm supposed to use. So it could have been over, um, there's judgment here. So this is the card right before the world, right before the major arcana ends. Um, so this is the final outcome. This is unable to hide. Things are coming to the surface. This is karma. Um, relationship karma there's a transformation here so the five of swords again remember that's conflict tension and that's more in the present so in the past it was perfect you had this perfect relationship and now presently there's conflict there's tension there's uh things going on and it's karmic it's karmic it's judgment and it, it, it's just like this necessary rite of passage in order to get to the world, to get to the completion, to complete the, the final step of the major arcana and to graduate. And then the nine of wands is actually um, clarified by the ace of hats. So there's real potential for happiness here. This is the beginning of a new romance. This is emotional fulfillment. This is, this is the love card. It's very emotional. However, there is conflict here because it's clarifying the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is fire energy. It's all about ambition, aggression, um, energy, uh, temperaments. And then the Ace of Hats, is water energy it's emotional sentimental it's secretive and water puts out fire and fire boils water so elementally they're not dignified so there's major conflict here so within your romantic and social life I do see a lot of conflict but and I see it like going in and out in and out it's getting good and then it's getting bad and then it's, or it's getting good and then it's getting bad then it's getting good then it's getting bad it's just going in and out in and out in and out but ultimately I see that there is like a lot of potential here all right career wise uh three cards for Gemini's career please three cards for Gemini's career please I have the Emperor in reverse, so you could be dealing with a narcissist at work. I have the Five of Pentacles, so being left out in the cold. And then I have the Four of Cups. Alright, so the Emperor in reverse, anger issues, narcissistic personality disorder. The Dodo was chosen to be the Emperor because the Dodo took control of the situation when alice's tears flooded and everybody was wet the dodo started the caucus race to get everybody dry he took control of the situation when he's in the reverse he's not taking control of the situation he's using his power for bad he has anger issues he's irresponsible he's impatient he's unhelpful he's um a, like a mafia boss or bridezilla 
And then we have the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. The Five of Pentacles is um, financial or material loss, scandal, a lost job, asking for help uh, and being refused, being drug out whenever you ask for help, um, feeling lonely. And then we have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is being moody, depressed, apathetic, a need for a new social scene. Look how sad he looks. He looks sad. He's thinking about all of the cups he lost. So career-wise, I don't see us doing very well right now. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor in reverse here? And I, I know my career is not doing very well either. It was doing like really good. Like I was doing fantastic, and then all of a sudden, bleep, nothing. So this, uh, yeah, this whole reading is resonating with me with my Gemini moon. Like, why is the emperor in reverse here? Why is the emperor in reverse? Okay, the Ace of Peppermills. There's potential action, um, the beginning of new physical action. There's explosive potential. Um, it, it's here, the narcissist is here to inspire you to take action, to lead you towards your life purpose whatever career you're currently in is not your life purpose that that trauma that whatever the emperor and it could be an aries um whatever that that emperor like whatever you're not supposed to be doing that you're supposed to be doing something else and it's leading you to your life purpose why is the five of pentacles here why is the five of pentacles Right, so I have the six of oysters. So the five of pentacles is here because of the six of oysters. So that's five, six. They they go in in order. Um, so the six of pentacles is getting help, getting back on your feet. This is the payday card, rags to riches. So like I was saying your career is going bad right now because that's not where you need to be it's propelling you to do with your true life purpose so this is rags to riches you're being left out in the cold so you are going to shine the um phoenix has to burn to ashes before it can rise even better all right the four of cups why is the four of cups here what's the four of cups All right, so I have the Nine of Oysters in reverse. So the Four of Cups is here because um, you're over-invested in your work. So you're feeling sad, you're feeling stalky, you're feeling depressed because you are over-invested in the career that you're in right now, but it's not the one for you. Something better is going to come much, much better. That's going to be way more financially rewarding. All right, any other advice for Gemini? Any other advice for Gemini? Union. Could be like literally starting a union, like a workers union, or this could be um, I'm seeing this as like uniting uniting with uh, with friends getting together with friends um, uniting with lovers uniting with yourself I know being a Gemini moon I sometimes have like two voices in my head and one's like 
oh, I want to do this. And the other one's like, no, oh, I want to do that. And like before I make any big decisions, both of my twins have to be in agreement. Um, so this is like a uniting of self. Making sure both of the twins are in agreement. All right, Gemini, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, um, if you'd like a private reading, they are on sale for $20 for 40 minutes. I do have my other private reading packages available, but that's the one that I have on sale right now. And um, I will be having the career um, singles and couples um, out shortly. I'm still doing August reading. I'm trying to get those out early so then I could get uh, career singles and couples out before August. So thank you for joining me. I'm going to look at the live comments now and answer any questions. All right, so um, Marty says hi. Marty says I love your background. Thank you so much Marty and thank you for joining me. AK says hi beautiful. Hi AK. Thank you. Marty says, my ex Capricorn and I am Gemini, and I was wondering if he's coming back. Um, well, in the general reading, I honestly didn't see anything coming back. I saw everything was like, like a mental August 1st through the 15th. I, I didn't see any reunions in just the general, but you might want to purchase like the couples the couples reading for four dollars and 99 cents when that comes available because um it may come up in that but as for just the general reading no i did not see anything coming back from the past um ak my ex aries trying to come back what does he want thanks beautiful all right, um, well, I didn't really, what does he want? I did get Aries strongly in the money section, so it could be financial. Uh, you always felt like your ex Aries was a narcissist. Well, Aries is a fire sign. Aries is the baby of the zodiac, and the majority of them are. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be honest. They are. Um, and then you said thanks. Thank you, and thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day.
Thank you. 